Hello friends, welcome to Finance MCQ. I am C. A. Pritam Sangwan, and today we will continue our discussion on ratio analysis, which is an important topic from Commerce and Accountancy subject of Paper Two, which is a technical syllabus of your SEBI exam. Friends, this technical syllabus is of hundred marks in Phase One, and it has two third weightage in Phase Two of your SEBI Grade A exam. And friends, you can find entire technical syllabus of SEBI Grade A exam. chapter wise topic wise on finance mcq website in mcq question format you can visit the website and practice entire technical syllabus there i have put the website link in the description box below so let's begin friends in last video we were discussing about leverage ratio under that we have seen that there are two types of leverage ratio first one is capital structure ratio that we have already discussed in the last video and second type is coverage ratio so friends in this video we will discuss about coverage ratio friends coverage ratio measures firm's ability to service its fixed liabilities that is from this coverage ratio we can measure whether a firm can pay off its fixed liability or not and friends fixed liability or fixed claim consist of interest payment preference dividend and repayment of loans or redemption of preference shares capital on maturity so i hope meaning and relevance of coverage ratio is clear to all of you now let's move on to the next point friends now let's talk about some of the important coverage ratios so friends some of the important ratios are debt service coverage ratio then we will have interest coverage ratio then preference dividend coverage ratio and fixed charges coverage ratio so in this coverage ratio we will discuss these four type of ratios so let's start our discussion one by one first one is debt service coverage ratio or dscr friends this ratio indicates firm's ability to pay off its current interest and installment and friends normally ideal dscr between 1.5 to 2 is considered satisfactory that is if we are having debt service coverage ratio between 1.5 to 2 it means the firm in, is in the better position to pay off its interest and loan amount and friends formula for dscr is earnings available for debt service upon interest plus installment and friends earning available for debt service how it is calculated it is calculated as net profit after tax plus non cash operating expenses that is our depreciation or amortization etc plus interest cost plus any other adjustments that is if there is any loss on sale of assets or profit on sale of assets that is to be adjusted accordingly So I hope this debt service ratio is clear to all of you. Yes. Now let's move on to the next point. Friends, now let's discuss interest service coverage ratio. So friends, this ratio indicates firm's ability to meet its interest obligation. That is whether a firm can pay off its interest or not. This ratio indicates that. And friends, higher interest coverage ratio means firm can easily meets its interest obligation if interest coverage ratio is higher it means it indicates that firm can pay off its interest obligation and friends low interest coverage ratio indicates excessive use of debt or insufficient operations that is if interest coverage ratio is less then it means the company is already having lot of debt on its shoulder or it is having inefficient operations that's why the interest coverage ratio is so much low and friends this ratio is calculated as interest before interest and taxes which is also known as earning before interest tax or ebit upon interest cost i hope this formula is pretty much simple so i hope this interest coverage ratio is also clear this one is one of the important ratio in this entire coverage ratio and friends now let's talk about other coverage ratios also here first one is preference dividend coverage ratio 
फ्रेंड्स दिस रेशो मेजर्स फॉर्म्स एबिलिटी टू पे इट्स प्रिफरेंस डिविडेंड एंड दिस रेशो इंडिकेट्स मार्जिन ऑफ सेफ्टी टू प्रिफरेंस शेयर होल्डर्स एंड फर्दर फ्रेंड हायर रेशो इज डिजायर्ड बाय प्रिफरेंस शेयर होल्डर ऑब्वियसली दे विल वॉन्ट टू हैव अ हायर प्रिफरेंस डिविडेंट कवरेज रेशो सो दैट देयर प्रिफरेंस डिविडेंट इज सेफ एंड फर्म कैन पे ऑफ देम प्रिफरेंस डिविडेंट एंड हाउ दिस रेशो इज कैलकुलेटेड फॉर्मूला इज नेट प्रॉफिट और अर्निंग आफ्टर टैक्स अपॉन प्रिफरेंस डिविडेंट लाइबिलिटी एंड फ्रेंड्स अर्निंग आफ्टर टैक्स इज कंसिडर्ड बिकॉज प्रिफरेंस डिविडेंट इज कंसिडर्ड एज अपोर्शनमेंट ऑफ प्रॉफिट वेर एज माई इंटरेस्ट कॉस्ट इज कंसिडर्ड एज चार्ज अगेंस्ट प्रॉफिट सो रिमेंबर दिस पॉइंट एंड द सेकेंड रेशो इज फिक्सड चार्ज कवरेज रेशो फ्रेंड्स दिस रेशो इंडिकेट्स how many times cash flow before interest and tax can cover all fixed finance charges and friends this ratio more than 1 is considered as safe and what is the formula for fixed charge coverage ratio so friends it is calculated as earning before interest and tax plus depreciation divided by interest plus repayment of loan upon 1 minus tax rate so what is this 1 minus tax rate that is the effective rate after tax so repayment of loan net of taxes so that is the entire formula for fixed charges coverage ratio friends here you don't need to remember the formulas for both this ratio you just need to remember the significance or the relevance of these two ratios because in exam they will not ask you to calculate this ratio they will more they will put more focus on what the significance of these ratios so try to remember what does this all ratio signifies so i hope these two ratios are clear to all of you friends now let's just quickly summarize what are the ratios that we have covered so friends in coverage ratio we have talked about debt service coverage ratio interest service interest coverage ratio preference dividend coverage ratio fixed charges coverage ratio and in the previous video we have talked about capital structure ratios in that we talked about equity ratio debt ratio then the important one debt equity ratio and we also talked about debt to total asset ratio capital gearing ratio and proprietary ratio so friends with this we have covered both liquidity ratio and leverage ratio and in the next video we will talk about other type of ratios which are relevant for your sebi grade a exam friends for more practice of this topic in mcq format i request you to please visit finance mcq website it has entire sebi grade a technical syllabus which is paper 2 of journal stream in mcq format It has 2000 plus subject wise topic wise MCQ questions to practice. We have added explanations for correct answers wherever required. It also has 25 test series for your technical syllabus to practice. So friends there is lot of study materials to practice on finance MCQ. Do visit the website for more practice and increase your selection chances. Friends website link is in the description box below. I will come up with new video till then take care and thank you so much for watching